Hey guys, and welcome back. Hey guys, Trinard.exe here. Welcome back to Undertale. I'm still zoning out with Mr. Ghosty, so I think I'm gonna move now. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Let's see what else you got. You still need to recover after all that lying down. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh. I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. The computer's... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's uh, it's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. <laughs> Spiderweb. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, it's... Well, it was nice hanging out with you, Mr. Ghost. You're a good friend. Maybe food and we just chilled. And sometimes it's all you need in a friend, is just someone to lay down and chill with, and not do much else. Thank you for that. Let's go this way. Uh. Oh. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one- oh. No, it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Oh. Yeah, my decisions are affecting the game, definitely. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So, snail, Sam Buell. <laughs> I've been long overdue for a second, house. Uh... <laughs> I think you stole this guy's house. The snail's counting dollar bills. <laughs> That's a snail race. Dude, you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10 gold to play. Absolutely. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Spam that Z button. Oh no, he's on fire! Race end. He didn't... I should have known I was going to get tricked. Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Can I try again? <laughs> If I should encourage it a little bit. Yeah, go snail. Oh. I think I should have just encouraged it once. <laughs> and we're going. He's not gonna win though. Yeah, I think I should just encourage it once. That would have been good. I had one one. Oh. You both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. The best wasn't good enough. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm done with this game. <laughs> I should have known this game was going to trick me, but somehow it just hasn't sunk in yet that this game likes to trick me. <laughs> Let's save. Okay. Let's see what's over here. It's the duck! The little bird wants to carry you across. So, uh, not today, bud. I just went on around all that way and I kind of have more stuff to... Oh. Oh, boy. What? 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 It's a... It's a living? <laughs> Doesn't seem like anybody's home. Well, that's good, I guess. I don't know if I wanted to go in that thing or not. North Blue Acres, East Hotland, Blink Tiny <laughs> Village. Question marks. Nobody knows where Tiny Village is, apparently. Yes. Um, I still haven't used the ballerina shoes. 
I need to actually attack something, I guess. So I, I'll keep my tough glove just in case it doesn't work out. Whoa! Hi! <laughs> oh, there, I've got some junk for sale. Crab apple seed to eat cloudy glasses, armor, torn notebook, invincible longer. Hmm. Interesting. Speed up in a battle, looks like a crab. Ha! <laughs> Trying to get rid of a chunk, not with more of it. Well, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, Timmy Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Fair enough. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's chat a little bit. Been around a long, long time. Maybe too long. Starting history sure is easy when you live through so much of it yourself. <laughs> True. Uh, the emblem. But I'm not sure... Eh, you don't know what that is? Why do you teach kids at school nowadays? No. Wow, school nowadays. That's the Delta Room, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Okay. Ah, great name, huh? It's as I always say. All King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblem's meaning. The emblem was ac actually predates written history. The original meaning is lost time. All we know is that triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the wing circle above symbolizes something else. <laughs> Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Okay, prophecy. Oh yeah, prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged angel or the winged circle the angel of death, the harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> What about the king? King Fluffy Buns. He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Yeah, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back later, I'm sure I'll remember by then. <laughs> Undine, yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I watch your back, kid. Buy some items. Might just save your hide. <laughs> Slick. Let's jet. I still want to try the ballet shoes before I buy any other weapons or anything. I mean, invincibility for longer sounds nice, but... Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with the magic spell. I think can enter the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Huh. Ah, pardon. I'm, a, I'm sleepy. It's pretty late. Well, I'm recording really late, and I'm not sure why I'm doing that. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We'll remain trapped down here forever. But I'm here, and I'll be that angel to save you guys. That's probably what I'm here for, anyways. Okay, looks like go here. Oh, neat. What about you? Show me the way. Take this as a life lesson, kids. Shrooms, they show you the way. Special enemy Tummy appears to defeat you. Oh. Oh. Okay. Do a bad. Do I have to go back? I'll probably have to go back. The game's a tricking me. Yep. This game and its tricks. Such tricks. Alright. Sorry, most falls, but I'm gonna have to. Okay. Oh, damn. Flames. Oh. Oh, he's, uh, he's uh, not happy with me. I spared so many of your friends. Okay. I like the ballet shoes, but they seem just a little sketchy to me. 
Now why would you make me walk all the way up here, you silly? Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Huh. Interesting. Got another one. Washua and Aaron appear. Let's fight him. Wash our soul. Come on in, the water's fine. Oh. 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 Wash your hand. soul is unclean. Oh boy. My soul is nice and clean. I wash it daily. You all know me. Okay. The belly shoes are pretty interesting, but I think I might go back to the tough glove because I just have to spam the Z button mindlessly. That takes skill. I don't have that. Who has time for skill? It's getting dark. Uh oh. Behind you. Oh. Uh oh. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Oh. Undine! I'll help you fight! Hey! You little traitorous bastard. Better not. Yo! You did it! Indeed, is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to our fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? <laughs> hey, you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Now's my chance. Nice. <laughs> Near our passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise won't laugh at me? Oh good, I was hoping I'd get back to this. Of course I won't laugh. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain and we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. That's a beautiful wish. I hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. I'm sorry. It's just funny. That's my wish, too. It's a beautiful wish. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Oh. I'm hearing those clangs. Yo! Uh-oh. You, uh, you okay, buddy? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Dine told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> you know, say something mean so I can hate you, please? No. Yeah, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yeah, well, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. You know what, buddy? I don't need it. Oh. Oh, no! Yo, wait! Help! I tripped. Oh. 
I'm gonna help you. I don't care. I don't care if Dean's here. You, you, yo, dude. If if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me. Oh no. Oh, I thought he was gonna hurt him. She's gone. Oh, and Dean's a she. I missed that. Yeah, you really saved my skin. I guess being enemies just is a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Yeah, go ahead, man. Take care. Later, dude. Still hearing that clanging. Oh. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we've collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! <laughs> Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Nah. Uh-oh. Whoa. You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were compassionate. But you? You're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense? Please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out those two sweet dogs who always took care of each other were dead because of the whims of a single he- What? What dogs? I haven't killed any dogs. I pet the dogs. No. But your time's up, villain. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared, and all the pain you inflicted on the fallen, every hope, every dream you've turned to dust. She's gonna send right back through her spear. Yeah, I'll show you how determined monsters truly are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. Oh boy, okay. Let's do this shit. When to silent, you're filled with determination. Bring it on, lady. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. Why is my heart green? Okay. And Dean attacks. Uh, looks like you can only fight. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Nice. Undyne Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. <laughs> You told Undine you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad. And how about this? Okay. I got the hand of the hang of it. She holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Try pleading again. Nothing happened. Okay. I missed the dialogue again because I'm a dumb. Smells like sushi. <laughs> I told her I don't want to fight. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Okay. But then bounces impatiently. I won't let you snatch it. Shit, uh oh. That draws her finger across her neck. Yeah, enough warming up. I'm starting to think I should just fight her. Man. Ha. You're tough. I am. But that holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. But even if you can beat me, which I can, I'll do it. You don't know me. 
A dunk suplex is huge, Boulder. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Shit, that hurt. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. That was good. Let's heroically towards the sky. Nice. Thoughts. Shit. Oh, I goofed. So stop being so damn resilient. Goofed me up on that one. That's not fair. She towers threateningly. What the hell are humans made out of? Uh, well, we have blood and skin and guts. Mostly guts. Most like sushi. Oh, I, I totally watched that one. And he also would be dead by now. Except I'm skilled. Mad skills. Back to green. Throws her finger across her neck. Alfie's told me humans were determined. Whoa! Makes for friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Ooh, that was a good one. I see now what she meant by that. Ha! I did it. She flips her spear impatiently. But I'm determined to. Oh god. That's so weird. Okay, I gotta use an item. Uh leave my butt's fine. Determined to end this. God, that's so confusing. Okay. Bam. Right now. Right now. Good. Water rushes around you. Nice. <laughs> Flower pollen dress in front of you. Good. Ah, die already, you little brat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. They're getting in my way. Ooh. I will not be defeated. Now you up. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. What am I doing with my life? That was odd. Thoughts. Oh, she's getting weaker. She doesn't want to fight me. Oh, oh. Guess not. Thoughts. Oh. oh, what am I doing? Took down Undine. Nah. You were stronger than I thought. So then, this is where it ends. No. No. I won't die. Alphys, Asgore, Iris. Everyone is counting on me to protect them. Nah. Uh oh. Human. In the name of everybody's hopes and dreams, I will defeat you. Oh, she looks determined. I gotta use, uh... I gotta use this, uh, nice cream. You look nice today. Aw. Come on. Is that all you've got? Oh. That was terrible. Mauling as if nothing is wrong. Is there anything different? Nope. Pathetic. We're going to have 
have to try harder than that. Doesn't seem to. His body is wavering. Does it see how strong we are when we believe in ourselves? Oh man. You're trying so hard, losing its shape. <laughs> Had enough yet? Jeez, I even feel sad for, like, the villains. Because she's just trying to help out her body. Oh, I can't spare her. Because I, I feel bad, too, because, like... Not only because of the cutesy nature of this game, like, I, like before, you, when I was feeling bad about stuff, but... Like, she's just trying to help out her people. And... She's trying, she's fighting her heart out even though she's literally about to die. I can't really do anything about it. Don't I won't give up. It's admirable, really. Dots. Oh, I could spare. <laughs> Alfie's. This is what I was afraid of. This is why I never told you. No. No. Not yet. I won't die. Uh-oh. Killed Undine. Whoa! Nice. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh? Did I, did I do it? Did I do a good? Did I do a bad? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Welcome. Oh. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all... Oh. I think we, you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Um, welcome. Welcome, T. Oh boy. This is slightly foreboding. I got a water though. That's nice. Yeah. Water evaporated from the heat. Cup evaporated too. Well, hot damn. This is a long one, but I had a boss fight, so it's fine. <laughs> well, since I found a save point and drunk, and I don't have to go through everything all over again, I guess this is where I'm gonna stop for today. So, till next time, guys. <laughs>